a quick tour of some of the functions and features of the IDMB add-in and the one-click interface. What you see on the screen is an Excel with the add-in already loaded and a dummy spreadsheet I'm using to illustrate the point. So uh, the scenario is we have some spreadsheet in information that we need to present either in a PowerPoint document or in Word. So we make sure we have all of our numbers and everything correct in here uh, and our focus is entirely about the getting the data correct. The next stage is, okay, I need to present this in some way, so the first thing I want to do is to be able to capture the information. So the piece of information that you want to capture, you simply highlight, click on the add-in, and I'm going to take the scenario that says we're going to present it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy just that part of the thing to, um, to PowerPoint. So you just click on picture on the one-click interface. As you see, it's opened the PowerPoint because there wasn't one already open, and it's added the highlighted text and because I've copied it as a picture, it's highlighted as a picture. Once it's in PowerPoint, I can do whatever I wish with it to uh, to play with it, format it, move it, as you see. It's just a picture within PowerPoint. Okay, so let me, I'll leave that open, just so you can see one of the other features. Let's assume I want to do something a little bit different, and that I actually want it in PowerPoint still, but I actually want it in PowerPoint's own style, so I can then reformat it within PowerPoint. So if I click on uh, Destination Style, it's now copied all of the stuff I'd highlighted into PowerPoint, but in the style of uh, its PowerPoint native. And then I can then use the design tools within PowerPoint to format it, shape it any way I wish. Uh, let me pick one that's just obviously different. There we go. So this is much more useful if you're trying to create a common style or use uh, within a presentation so they all look the same. Okay, so let me just close that. If I open up the normal menu, you see what it's actually done? Is we have the two slides there on the side. So two very simple examples of PowerPoint uh, linkages. One click interface taking the information you've created in Excel and pasting it into PowerPoint in a uh, way you choose. There are three other options there that I didn't use. Table would simply uh, paste the, the thing into PowerPoint in the, in the native format, of, uh, the same as Excel. Uh, object will paste it into PowerPoint as a uh, editable object and maybe that's a good thing to show you if you're not familiar with that so I've got still got all of that highlighted let me just pick a different piece slightly and insert it in the PowerPoint as an object and when you see it there the interesting thing about this kind of object is when you double click within PowerPoint you actually get to be able to change things in PowerPoint itself and there I thing within PowerPoint is changed so that's sometimes useful if you're trying to annotate something for presentation purposes um, and the final option which I may as well use to, to give you a sense of it is very similar but this time I'm going to insert it as a linked object now if I make any changes to the to the thing here let me just drag it to the middle double click on it and if you see what it did there, it double clicked and brought me back to the spreadsheet. If now make the spreadsheet changes, go back to PowerPoint, and there's the change I've just made. So that's that's a really uh, interactive way of doing it. I personally, for presentation purposes, prefer picture or or table because you don't always want to create those kind of links. Um, but the add-in set up to make that very simple for you similar process I'm not I'm just going to close that I'm not going to save it don't really need it okay so I'm now in back in Excel let me just show a couple of examples into Word so same as before highlight single click interface uh, there was no word open so it's opened a document for me and pasted it in as a picture so the importance of this single click interface is that your focus 
why they're in Excel is around Excel. It's not around sending data, it's not around anything else. It's about making sure the spreadsheet is correct, the information is correct. The next stage, using the one-click interface, is to be able to send the information where you want it. So let's send it as destination style this time. Now it knows that Word document was open, and if I find it, it's added a table in Word there. And again, like before, the beauty of a table within Word is I can use Word's own tools to change the shape of the table, change the way it works, the way it looks, using just native Word things. Okay, so that gives you quite a nice view of those options. One final thing. Oops. Thought I'd close my document there. Close that one. Um, if you, like me, uh, prefer to see printed documents so you can write on them, particularly when you're dealing with figures, then you'll know the horrors of of uh, using Excel to print. Um, you've got to set the page up, you've got to set the headings up, make it neat and tidy. Um, with a single click interface again, don't need to highlight any of that stuff, so with a single click interface you can click on standardize the header and what that's done is it's gone away and added a header and a footer. If I go to file print you'll see in the print preview it's got now a header and the, it's very standardized it is the name of the the uh, the workbook that's open and the name of the worksheet that's open and then a confidential a date and a page number on the bottom very standard no messing about what it tries to do is get everything onto one page in practice when you've got very large spreadsheets uh, you sometimes have to adjust that uh, but this does the hard work the other thing you can of course do is make sure all the headers across the whole workbook are the same by clicking that one click button and it's gone off it's looking at all the spreadsheets and uh, sorry the worksheets and set them up uh, one final thing is on this worksheet because it happens to be me I want to add my logo so I simply click on add logo and if I go back to the the print when I find it there it is we now have the IDMB advisory logo on the top. So again, very simple, just a, a quick whistle stop tour of the one-click interface. And that's it.